Uh, we're here in the Conservation Lab at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania, and I would like to talk a little bit about repairing some of the manuscripts. Here we have the original manuscript of Ellen Emlyn's cookbook. Um, you can see that it has a brand new leather spine on it. So I can't show you how to mend that particular book. However, we have some comparable documents in the lab. Uh, this is um, a book from 1773, and you can see that it is in terrible shape. The binding pretty much no longer exists. All the sheets of paper are torn apart. And so this book will need to be repaired in the similar way that I'm going to show you before it can be sewn back together again, new covers put on, and then it'll be ready for researchers to look at again. This is a letter book from about the 1750s. It's on very similar paper to that book. Um, this is 100% rag paper, handmade paper, um, which holds up really well over time, which is nice, makes it easier for us to fix. These edges have um, become crisp and breaking, and um, uh, they need to be reinforced so that when people turn the pages, they don't continue to tear. The other thing I want to do is I want to take the folios. Some of them are still attached and still together, but you can see that they have started to tear and started to um, come apart. So we'll reinforce that center um, with another piece of Japanese paper and wheat paste. This is a medium strength Japanese paper. It's made usually from mulberry bark. And um, it's nice because the mulberry fibers are really nice and long and they will provide strength to the paper, but there's not a lot of bulk. So it's not gonna bulk up the whole book when we try to put it back together again. Normally we tear the Japanese paper so that we've got these extra little fibers to hold things together. I'm going to tear this just slightly longer than the bottom of the page. Keep my extra bits. And I'm going to use wheat paste. We cook our wheat paste every day fresh in the lab and it's just wheat starch and water. It's very similar to the way to make gravy. This makes a fantastic paste and it is 100% archival and reversible with water. Uh, it also doesn't change color and it doesn't shrink or grow. It's, it's a pretty stable adhesive and that's why we like to use it. I'm going to paste out this piece of this guard here. I use a paper spatula to lift it off the paper. I need to remember which side the adhesive is on. And then I'm going to put it across the bottom as far down as I can get it so it doesn't intrude too much on the paper. And put these little hairs of mulberry onto the rest of the paper so that they can hang on. And then I take a piece of Pellon and blotter paper. Blotter is 100% uh, cotton. It'll soak up the moisture from the wheat paste. And I put that over the mend. I'm going to use a Teflon folder to burnish the mend down onto the paper. Remove this blotter, which I can feel is a little damp. Set that aside. Use the paper spatula to lift. And then I'm going to dry this on another piece of fresh blotter and Pellon flat. The Pellon keeps um, the mend from sticking to the blotter. And we want it to dry under a weight. So we have these bag weights that have sand in them, nice and flat. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry overnight and in the morning be ready to remove it and it will be ready to be trimmed down to the size of the page and be able to put back into the book.